Okay, today's training information and video is gonna be our super tweeters, our compression horns, some parts of the country call them drivers, and our horn flares. Okay, so start off with, we have the CT15. Currently, this is the smallest tweeter we have. Pretty simple, great for door panel dashboard application. Comes in a pair, not single. Okay, you just do a cutout, a little hole, drop it in. That's a CT15. And there we go to CT20. Again, sold in pairs, okay? A little bit bigger application. This is what we call a price point tweeter. Everybody knows what that means. It's a great speaker, performs well, especially for the money, comes in pairs. And there, CT25. A little more versatile here. You have the washer and the nut. Great for motorcycles. Cut a little hole, drop it in the dashboard. Great for dashboards. Great for door panels. Very nice. These are sold in singles. CT25. CT35. Okay. In a door panel, I understand the biggest battle is fitting. If you can get this one to fit, this is the go-to door panel tweeter. This is the loudest, clearest, easiest to install tweeter that we make. Ideal for door panels. This is a neodymium. It's a big step up from everything else. This is very nice. Sold in singles, eight ohms. CT50. This and this are cousins. This is the CPA and DCXT, soon to become the CT55. Similar motor, different installation application. This one comes with its own built-in flare. Very nice bullet tweeter. Great for doors, great for dash, all the little tight spots. And then this will be called a CT55. This has a thread on it. This can go with any one inch horn flare. We'll discuss the horn flares in a second. Or this can go into our Neo Coax drivers, as we discussed in another video. CT357, the stunt wall beast. Hard to fit in a door, but in a stunt wall, this is the go-to super tweeter. You have to have a super tweeter in your stunt wall, your barn door, or your door panels. You cannot rely just on horns. You will lose that battle, whether it's in the lanes or the street. Horns will not go high enough. Super tweeters are what will take you the 20,000 number. Very nice. This is a great speaker for the money. One of the best. In super tweeters, that's where we stop currently. We have replacement diaphragms for all the super tweeters. They're all infield repairable. In production and on the boat. On the boat means it's on its way. We have the CT10. Sorry, this is all I can do. Picture. This is a Hershey Kiss style super tweeter. Very loud, very easy to fit. These guys have mine not seen yet. It's gonna be big when it comes in. And this is a grill with a built-in CT10 in it. This will go over any of our six and a half inch Pro Audio loudspeakers. This is in production. An item in production has no ETA, which means it's being built. An item on the water means it's on the way. This should be here soon. As far as our compression horns for drivers are concerned, our interlocal one is the CT500. This is a phenolic. No, this is a titanium, I'm sorry. It's a phenolic. This is a phenolic, you're right. Okay. This is the best bang for the buck. This is uh, economy. Very similar to a lot of product on the market. It's designed to go with any one inch flare that we make. Extremely flat. Install be tricky on that. Okay. Then we get into the meat, two inch drivers, CT750. This is an iron product, this is economical, it's loud, it's clear, it's a great product, it's affordable. Beast mode, CT900. This was the king of the streets prior to the CT1000 coming out. This thing is loud. This is a titanium, neodymium product. This 
is loud as 10 of these. So if you have something in your vehicle similar to this, from the other 400 brands on the market, this is 10 of those, no lie. Then we have our CT1000. This is an interesting animal. This is actually two compression drivers put together. So essentially it is a DVC, but it's fixed. You can't play with the impedance. So it's two parallel internally. Um, because of the resistance and the load, this essentially becomes more of a six ohm application instead of an eight ohm like that. So in most cases, guys can run eight of these on a one ohm amp. We recommend six of these on a one ohm amp. And the rule of thumb is the lower you cross them over, the lower the power handling, the higher you cross them over, the higher the power handling. You can take this down to 500 hertz, six of them on a 5,000 watt mono amp, no problem. Okay, this one here, you're gonna take a little higher, probably close to around 1,000 hertz. This one here, 1,500. Those are conservative numbers. I know everybody's gonna say, oh, I take mine down to 900, that's great. The lower you go, the more diaphragms you're buying. We do have diaphragms for all these products also, okay? Now, from there, we go into our horn flares. That's what I call them. This is our thinnest one. This is the HF1A horn flare, one inch aluminum. Easy part numbers. Screws on there. HF1P. Horn flare, one inch plastic economy. Very nice. A little different. HF6040, horn flare, 6040. A little bigger. That's all obvious. All right, then we get into the two inch stuff. This is the HF2A short. Horn flare, two inch aluminum, short, very shallow, very popular. This is our most popular. This allows you to put horn flares in your door panels. HF2P, horn flare, two inch, plastic. This is about six inches. This is quite a bit deeper than that. Plastic, so it's economy. Then we have HF2A. Horn flare, two inch aluminum. Great seller. On the water, again, that means coming in, we have an HF2P long. Plastic two inch horn flare, long. That's for the major stunt wall applications. And that'll conclude our super tweeters, our compression horns, and our flanges. Thank you.